mate. I'll just have a pint, none of that fancy cocktail stuff. See me around. And coming from Newport, Wales, we have Tiny Rebel Club Tropicana Tropical IPA coming in at 5.5% ABV. Now, I just picked this one up in Waitrose. Um, yeah, um, Waitrose have just recently upped their game a little bit. You know, we're obviously Tesco's doing it. And Waitrose are starting to get a few more craft beers in. And this one here, Club Tropicana is one of the tiny rebel beers that is uh, on the shelf. Um, the other one, Quitch, what they call it, which I've already reviewed, that's on there as well. Um, yeah, every, everything I've had from Tiny Rebel so far has been really, really good. The trouble is, this, this Club Tropicana is not free, I'm afraid, not like the song. You know, when they say Club Tropicana drinks are free, this isn't free. It's, just, it's two quid a can, which is reasonable you know for a can of beer 5.5 percent so let's crack it open and get it into a glass i'm expecting a lot from this because everything i've had so far from tiny rebel and i've actually had a lot of their beers um on draft in in, in various pubs and that and there's a few of them I've had on draft. I'm trying to source in cans to be able to sort of review them here. So watch this space. So there we go. Look at that for a cracking looking beer. A lovely two finger white head on there. Um, look at that cloudy, oh, beautiful cloudy, yellowy amber colour there. Let's, let's get the aroma. Oh my god. It's it's juicy. It still reminds me of when I was a kid and them little um boxes of fruit juice that I used to take the take to school with me packed lunch called Umbongo. Umbongo. It's got all the traits of that, you know, tra oh, you know, I'm, I'm getting a real big peach smell coming from this. Pineapple, mango, passion fruit. That's really, really got a real peachy smell to this beer. It smells absolutely divine. Let's dive in, give it a try. Cheers. This is just juicy is what it smells. This is fantastic. And the mouthfeel of it, it feels like velvet. It's such a lovely mouthfeel. For what I gather, they only use American hops in this. And I don't know how many hops they've got. But... You know, I hazard a guess, you know, you've got, you've definitely probably got some, some mosaic, some yakima, um, all those sort of hops from the sort of, down in the, in California there. It just screams sunshine, it, it screams like a nice day like it is today, it screams a hot day, sitting in a beer garden or at a barbecue. This, this is fantastic, this is, this is really, really good. The velvet, the velvetness of this on the tongue and the, the cloudiness of the beer is definitely the oats in here. It's got oats in here and it's, uh, I'm calling it a tropical IPA because obviously the tropical fruits, but it's got all the mouthfeel and the cloudiness 
of like a New England IPA, um, but lower ABV. You know, we, we think a lot of New England IPAs are look over six percent. You know, six and a halves, pushing up towards the seven percent mark. Um, this is five point five. A beautiful beer, huh? It's really, really good. And you think you can just go down your local Waitrose and pick this up now. But how fantastic is that? You know, um, before then you'd have to find like a specialist beer shop, um, hope they had Tiny Rebel in, or visit Tiny Rebel, or um, send off on their website to get it. But now it's, it's open to the masses. And this is the beauty of this craft beer. You know, some of these these breweries, they're, they're really, well, Tiny Rebel, they have, Christ, they've really, they've really sprung up um, very, very fast and doing, done very, very well for themselves. Um, really impressed. I know, they're sort of like um, the equivalent of like the brew dog of Wales, <laughs> the way they've sort of um, expanded. And fair play to them. You know, they're, they're knocking out some fantastic beers. Whenever you see their beers, you just know they're going to be packed full of flavour. Um, I really like the mouth feel of this though. It really, really does feel good in the mouth. Now, even now. And it's sort of... It sticks to your teeth. And it's just pleasant flavours. medium sort of bitter and then towards the end you get sweetness um, the predominant flavour on the mouth feel is mango you can really really taste the mango there but on the smell it's just peaches and I'm even sort of picking up now, whether because it's my taste buds, you know, sort of, with the beer. I'm picking up sort of hints of lemon, a bit of pepperiness now. So all in all, it's a, it's a very, very complex beer. Oh, fantastic offering, tiny rebel, fantastic. Um, look, go to your local right, Waitrose. Buy a can, try it, see what you think. Leave a comment below. Um, give us, give us a big thumbs up. Hit that little bell. Um, get notified every time I bring out a new uh, review. And this one here is, I'm going to give it. It's going to get a 4.5 out of 5 from me. It's that good, this beer. So look, go and get yourself a. Go and get yourself a, um, a can, try it, see what you think. And uh, for all you who subscribe to the channel, because without you subscribers, the channel's nothing. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night.